In last week's video, I showed you my secret to getting great compositions, even in boring locations using my defocusing technique. But in this video, I'm shooting with the Fuji X100F. Does it give me a lot of bokeh? So we're gonna revert back to the more fundamental ways of getting compositions like leading lines, using negative space. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in this video. X100F showing you all the JPEGs using Classic Chrome, my favorite profile, and using my favorite model, Diana. You like my new nose ring? I do like it, yeah. All right, uh, you see where that guy's taking that picture over there? We're gonna shoot there. And what that gives us is really nice leading lines. The buildings are like almost perfectly centered. Oh, there's a line. There's a line to shoot here. Wow, look at this. One, two. Look over your shoulder. There, right there. But hold on. Okay, one, two. So simple, perfect. Gotcha. That's it? Hell yeah. We didn't even take long. One of the favorite things that I look for in a composition is leading lines. Now, here we have very obvious leading lines. We have a bridge two lines intersecting to a certain point. It's gonna draw all the attention to her. The problem is that a lot of the times these images can look very cliche, kind of, kind of boring. So I'm gonna take a picture of her just in the middle, and then I'm gonna take a picture of her, I'm gonna shoot it from a different angle just to add a little bit more interest, just so it's not so cliche and boring, dare I say. Something like this. Oh, yeah, not the, head, the headache pose. <laughs> Good. Good, one more. Okay, so those pictures are fine. I use leading lines properly, but now let's let's make this place a little bit more interesting. A little sofrito for our composition. I'm gonna I'm gonna copyright that. So a little sofrito for my composition. You know what I'm saying? Like spice it up a bit. Good. Good. Get a full body. Good. Good, good. Raise your chin when you do that. Perfect. Cool. So I made a boring image, which is centered off. I got a different angle. I still made sure the lines are still in the image, but I got it from a different angle. For me, it's more interesting. All right, now what I see is patterns. I see parallel lines, and this is beautiful, actually, and we can't Thanks. go in there. We, She's, she, yeah, she is very beautiful and, um, you know, but that's exactly what I meant. That's okay, you know, you're, you're the... What I'm gonna do with my 35 millimeter is kind of back up as much as I can to get all of that nice pattern in the background. I feel like that makes a really nice background for the image. Good. Go down here. Ooh, those patterns are really nice. Good. One, two, three, perfect. And one more. Perfect. Oh wow, look at the angle of my butt. What do you mean? Because it's all booty. It's, it's not all booty. If you didn't care about nobody looking at your booty, you, you I mean, you, you obviously don't care. So no, you can't even. You can't. You can't tell because you. Hey, you're wearing all black. Hey, look, you're wearing all black. You can't see it. You can't see it. Basically, you don't like. You don't care about. Basically. So it just negates itself, right? It's just. So what I'm doing here is lining her up with these lines here, and what you're gonna see above her is a lot of symmetry. And also these the stairs also provide symmetry as well because obviously they're parallel. Good, perfect. Perfect. Couple more. Look at me, look at the camera. Got it. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of uh, using negative space in our image to make our composition just more interesting. So. I've got a little bit of a skyline shot here, and I've got Diana here. What I'm gonna do is cut her off around like her belly maybe. So a little bit of her body is gonna be in the frame. There's gonna be more environment, more architecture, but I feel like it will add more interest to the image. And some people get 
negative space mixed up sometimes. They think that it's just empty space, but it doesn't have to be empty. It could also be, it could just be anything, something that adds interest to the picture. So I'm gonna use those buildings as, um, as the background. Turn up a little bit. There we go. Good. Oh, I got the bird in there. Hey. Thank you, birdie. Got it. Nice. The bird in there, right? Nice, right? You're looking at yourself, you didn't even see the bird. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so this one, I don't even have to explain much. It's color. I see some really nice bright flowers. I wanna take a picture next to it. Um, I'm having Diana sit so I can shoot straight on. If she's sitting on that ledge, she, she, her head is gonna be too high. And then, then we're gonna get those, we're not gonna get the whole line of flowers in the frame. So I'm having her sit down right here. All right, I'm shooting in landscape mode. Or I could shoot in portrait mode as well, but I'm gonna shoot landscape so I can get the colors on each side. Okay, ready? One, two, three, boom, boom. Ah, oh, this headache is so bad. Oh no, Manny, can you give me a Tylenol, please? I came across this really nice area where there's trees on each side. They're not like per they're not like evenly spaced out, but I have enough to call it symmetry. I do have a little bit of leading lines, and I'm gonna use some negative space here. I'm gonna crop her. I'm gonna crop her around her belly, and then use all of this as negative space. So I think this picture has all a lot of elements in one. So let's let's go for it. Oh yeah, perfect. Just like that, just like that. Good. Again. Yeah, tilt, perfect. A little bit to your right, right there, good. Same thing, I want you to do this until your head kind of, and close your eyes. Uh, lower your chin just a tad, right there. Good.